One of the most useful things in my Roll20 Stream Deck setup are the layer switchers. So you can see I have four keys for quickly switching to the different layers. And I also have four other keys for shifting objects to those layers. So let's show how those are used in practice. Over here I have a, sim, a simple scene setup. Um, there's a little animated fire here that is currently on the object layer, because that's the layer that we are on. Uh, and I would like to move that to the uh, map layer so that I don't accidentally move it in the middle of the game. So I can just press the key for that, and there it goes. We are now on the map layer. You can see I have the map selected. And then I'll just press the object key in green up there to switch back. Then let's say this player out here, Lucan, is, you know, looking around outside. They peek through the window. They see that there's nobody in there. And they think, okay, I'm going to try and go through the door. Well, if I pop on over to the dynamic lighting layer, I can select the door and shift it over to the GM layer. So now, from Lucan's perspective, the door is open. And Lucan, the player, can't see this uh, door because it's on the GM layer. Now, if I ever need to move it back, I can just jump over to the GM layer and switch it back to the dynamic lighting layer, and the view is once again blocked. And it's super fast. Uh, as another example, let's go ahead and open that up again. Let's say our brave hero comes into this room. Now he doesn't see this witch here because she's currently invisible. If I switch over to his view, um, weirdly it still displays it, but that's a, uh, that's a bug in Roll20 um, because she's actually on the GM layer. So over here you can see I'm on the GM layer and I have the witch selected. <clears throat> So if I want her to drop the invisibility and suddenly surprise him, I can just push this button to drop her onto the object layer. And now uh, both tokens are visible on the object layer. Now if Lucan became invisible, I could just put him on the GM layer and he's gone. Uh, so you can see how these keys make this kind of stuff, especially if you're trying to speed up combat, so much faster.